there really isn't anything quite like a day at the beach. You come, you relax, and if you happen to be in Maracas, you go and get shock and bake. Today, Trini Street Foods takes us to Maracas Beach, and we go to Patsy's. Patsy is a real person, and we're here with her daughter, Tracy. Tracy, how are you today? I'm okay. Now, I was just looking at your menu, bacon shark at the top of the menu, but also a lot of options for people who may not want to eat shark. Main attraction really is the bacon shark because a lot of people, especially tourists, just come because they heard about the bacon shark, so they come to experience it. But one of our main items mostly is the shrimp because people love the shrimp and then we have the shrimp with many other stuff, which like with the aloo pie and the acra. makes a good bacon shark? Well, it starts off with the seasoning. When you season your fish properly and you let it marinate, then you get a good bacon shark. And I see you have a lovely long table filled with just condiments. I'm guessing many of those are homemade as well. Everything homemade. The sauces, we made them for ourselves, and the vegetables, where we get them in the market and we prepare them. you all been here at this particular spot in Maracas? Well, actually we in Maracas going on 39 years now because we live here. I actually grow in the business, but since they do over the car park, we here as well. This is my dish here today at Patsy's. I have the bake and shrimp, and I've topped it with some tomatoes, some lettuce and cabbage, um, also some purple onions in there. Uh, in terms of sauces, I have honey mustard, I have garlic sauce, and I have what was labeled very hot pepper sauce. Wow. This shrimp is perfectly cooked. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked, it's just right. And um, what was said before about, you know, the secret being both in the dough for the bake and the seasoning for the meat, it's totally true. Because um, shrimp is something that has a distinct flavor. So, you know, you don't want to overpower it. And you get the shrimp, you get the right amount of seasoning. You get a lot of crunch with the shrimp as well because it's fried shrimp, as you can see. And the pepper sauce is actually uh, it is a kick to the pepper sauce, but it's just right. 